People with disabilities are integral to the fabric of community life. By creating connections and promoting networks within our community, all members can be valued and respected. Disability is complex and may not always be apparent. Each person and their disability is unique. National Night Out is an annual worldwide event that brings together citizens, law enforcement, other first responders, local officials, and businesses to increase anti-crime awareness and strengthen community partnerships. While the event planners are dedicated to making sure that their National Night Out celebration promotes equality, inclusion, and safety, a smaller event may be preferable for some people who have disabilities. At the request of a parent, the Franconia Police Department planned a smaller daytime event modeled after the larger National Night Out. This event provided an opportunity for more in-depth interaction with police officers and firefighters while remaining open to the entire community. We were approached by a local mother who lives in the township that has a son with special needs. We met, we talked, her son has autism. So from that, we evolved and we created the Special Needs Open House. Our Special Needs Open House, we do not limit it to any particular special need or any particular age. Every special need is different. Whereas some people may like to hear the sirens, it may scare others. So a challenge is to figure out the best way to put everything out there to make everybody feel comfortable. So we put it on our Facebook page, told people we were gonna do it, and it was really great because the community started to contact us. We made it known in our church about having a special event for uh, special needs individuals and families here in Franconia Township, and we had quite a number of volunteers to, uh, to help out. I think too often individuals with special needs are sort of sidelined or they are left out of activities in the community. So when these opportunities come about, I think it's a win-win situation for the whole community. Univest Bank and Trust Company has been a longtime partner with Franconia Police Department and the Franconia Township. When we were approached to support the Special Needs Open House, it was, it was really a natural extension of our ongoing partnership. The more we collaborate, the more that we partner, the stronger our communities are. Coming to this event has meant a lot. My son has been able to come in in a calm environment and he has been able to interact with the police officers. He can be a little standoffish with men and especially with, you know, the nightstick and the gun and everything. So he tends to back away and I don't want him to be afraid if he's ever lost and he needs a professional like that to find him. I don't want him running from them or I don't want an officer to have an adverse reaction to somebody with autism or any disability. I would encourage every police department in the Commonwealth to become involved in some way with their communities of people with physical and intellectual disabilities. It's probably the most underserviced segment of our society, and with our special needs registry, we realize how many people there are in your community who have wheelchair issue, a mobility issue to get out in time of fire, or people who become uh, frightened at the sight of non someone knocking at the door. This is a community that really, really needs the attention of law enforcement. In order for all people to have the opportunity to learn, work, and enjoy life amongst a diverse community, local police departments need to expand outreach efforts in order to educate and protect all of their citizens, including those with disabilities. The Franconia Police Department's special needs event is one example of how law enforcement, working in collaboration with family members, local businesses, and faith communities can help reduce the risk of crime. For additional information, please contact the Institute on Disabilities at Temple University.